Well, it turns out so far the streetcar's toughest test could be something as simple as balloon strings that caused some tongues to wag today as the vehicle visited downtown for the very first time. WLWT News 5's John London tracked today's test run, joining us live with the results. John. Mike, almost all went well. Just getting started took some doing when a simple system check ballooned into a problem. The streetcar was scheduled to start its inaugural live wire test downtown promptly at 9 this morning, but was still in the barn at 1045. The strings of some kids' balloons, similar to the ones you see here, became closely acquainted with overhead wires, creating a spaghetti like situation that had to be disentangled before anything could roll. This really was children with balloons this morning. But again, it does reemphasize that we have to keep that wire safe. We have to keep it clear so the streetcar can make contact with it. Once the balloon barricade was removed, downtowners could track the streetcar as it moved along at five miles an hour through the busy central business district for the first time. What's going to happen is it's going to settle in and become the norm as people see these things moving around. Today, once they moved beyond balloons, crews were checking clearance, power connections, and traffic signal sensors, looking for the old thumbs up along the route. We got the verbal equivalent from interested bystanders. For me, this is this is exciting. It's almost like watching the space shuttle take off. All the work we've done to get this thing here finally. Part of the test phase is to see how the vehicles integrate with daily traffic, how pedestrians interact and react, how streetcar and society share street space. The notion of plays well with others, you might say, should be a two way street. The streetcar needed only two loops to hit all its marks today, moving at the post of 25 along Elm Street mid afternoon, finding no more balloons in its way. Well, I missed the whole streetcar here. I was a year late coming. I was born in 52, and uh, I can't wait till I uh, get to ride one. And the streetcar will travel the entire 3.6 mile route tomorrow. Double the fun early next week. Both of the streetcars delivered so far will be out on the tracks, barring any balloon barriers. Reporting live in Over the Rhine, John London, WWT News 5. Hoping that is now in the rearview mirror, John. Thank you. Also, next week, lawmakers plan to have firmer operating cost numbers. The streetcar system, by the way, scheduled to start next September. Oh.